my name is Kelly Dale and I'm owner of Off the Beaded Path which is located in Forest City, North Carolina. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful new necklace that I call the Perfect Storm Necklace. For this necklace, you're going to need lots of 4mm round glass beads. You're going to need some 3.9mm Montes. And you're going to need a size 11 and a size 15 seed bead. I'm going to be using a size 12 beading needle and 6 pound fire line. So get your materials together and we'll get started. To get started, I'm going to be using a size 15 galvanized silver seed bead, a size 11 galvanized silver seed bead, 4 millimeter jet glass rounds, and 3.9 millimeter crystal AB Montes. I have my needle threaded on to about four yards of fire line. You'll probably, you may have to add more if you do, that's fine. But to get started, I'm going to pick up a size 11, a 4 millimeter, a size 11, two 4 millimeters, a size 11, and two 4 millimeters. Now I'll zoom in here so that you can see what I've got. You should have an 11, a 4 millimeter, an 11, two 4 millimeters, an 11, and two 4 millimeters. I'm going to bring those down and leave myself a short tail. And I'm going to go back through all those beads that I just added. Pull that on through. And when you get done, go ahead and tie the tail and the working thread together in a couple of good knots. Where you have the seed bead, the 4 millimeter, and the seed bead together, this is the top. This will be the top rim of, our, rim of our necklace. And the little seed bead down here will be the bottom rim of the necklace. I'm going to go ahead and go down through one round right next to my knot. I'm going to go ahead and add the first part of my clasp. So I'll pick up four size 11 seed beads, my wire protector, and the first part of my clasp. Pull that on down. And once you reach the base, go through the first seed bead right before the wire protector. So you're going to go back through it going towards the beadwork. Pick up three size 11 seed beads. Your clasp originally started coming out of the bottom. So you want to come around to make a circle. So you're going to come right back down through that same bead that you're coming out of to make what I would call a circle so that your clasp sits directly atop that one bead. Just like this. What you'll do now is reinforce the clasp again by going back through all beads that you just added and then coming back through the round bead. I went ahead, reinforced, and got rid of my tail. I'm going to go ahead and continue on through the four millimeter and the seed bead right below it. I'll pick up three size 11 seed beads 
and I want to make a little peacoat here so I'm going to make a circle my threads coming out in this direction so I'm going to come back around and go through that same bead the way I'm already coming out so that it'll make that little peacoat I'm going to continue through the next two beads here so just continue up through the two Pick up three, four millimeters. I'm coming out of the bead here and I want to make a circle. So I'm just going to come back around, come through the same bead that I'm coming out of so that it'll make that circle. That'll give us a small circle of four. Once you have that small circle of four, you want to go through and reinforce that again. So go through the round, all three rounds that you just added and the round you're coming out of. And you'll want to do this for every circle that you add. It just helps to reinforce it so that you don't have to go back after the ending or after you finish it off and reinforce it again. At this point, we're going to pick up a 15, two 15, sorry, a Monty, and two 15s. My needle is exiting the small square in this direction. I want my beads to lay diagonally over the top of this box. So what I'll have to do is come to the bead opposite the one I'm coming out of and I'm going to go through that bead the same direction that my thread is coming out of this bead. The reason you want to do that is so that way when you come up through the bead or through that bead, your beads will sit diagonally across. So I'm going to come through the bead. And make sure that your Monty lays down just like this. Pick up two 15s, come through the other hole in the Monty, just like this. And then two 15s. And we want to finish out that X shape. So I'm going to come through the same bead I was just coming out of a minute ago to finish that shape out. To get into position to add my next circle, I'm going to come through two glass beads. I'm going to come through this one and this one. At this point, you're just going to, going to be doing a repetitive pattern. One circle will be this one, the next circle will be this one. Each one is a repetitive pattern or the sequence of these two beads. So to get started from where I'm coming out of, I'm just going to pick up one 4 millimeter round, one size 11 seed, two 4 millimeter rounds, a seed, a four millimeter, and a seed. So we picked up the four millimeter, size 11, two four millimeters, a size 11, a four millimeter, and a size 11. My thread is coming out of the bead in this direction. I'm gonna come back around to make my circle. So it's gonna look just like this. Pull that on through. 
so that it starts just like this one. I'm going to go back through all these beads again that I just added and I want to exit out of the size 11 here on the bottom. So first I'm going to go through and reinforce those. I've come back through the bead along the base that I started with and I'm just going to continue on through the next round and seed bead so that I can exit the bottom. This is what you should have thus far. Pick up three size 11 seed beads You're coming out of the seed bead in this direction. You want to come around to make a circle. So I'm going to go right back through that same bead again. Pull that on through. It makes my pea coat. And then I'm going to go through two more glass beads. So one, two. This will now get me into position to add my next circle, which is going to be my small circle. So I'm going to pick up three four millimeter rounds. Thread is exiting in this direction, so I'll come back to round to make my circle. Pull it on through, and then come through Go through all three again to reinforce and then through the one on the base. You're going to be switching to your 15s, so you're going to pick up two 15s, a 3.9 Monty, and two 15s. We want our thread to lay, or our beads to lay diagonally over the box. My thread is coming out in this direction here of this bead. I'm going to come directly across and I'm going to go through that bead in the same direction. When you pull, your beads should now lay diagonally across your box. Pick up two 15s, go through the Monty, the other hole of the Monty, and then pick up two 15s, finish out that X shape by going right back up through the same bead you're coming out of there on the base originally to finish it up. It should look just like this when you get that one done. To get into position, I'm going to go through the next two beads. And you'll just complete these two boxes that you've made do that repetitive motion till you reach the length of the necklace that you're going to need. Once you've reached the desired length of the bracelet, you're ready to go ahead and add your second part of the clasp. So to do that, go ahead and exit out of the last bead here on your round circle. 
And just like we did the other side, you want to pick up four size 11 seed beads, the wire protector, and the other end of your clasp. And all up, pull down, and you're going to go through the last seed bead right before the wire protector. Pick up three size 11 seed beads. Your clasp started here, so we want to come back through the bead we're coming out of to finish out the clasp. You want to go ahead and reinforce this and then tie the thread off with a couple of half hitch knots. When you get neck when you get finished with the necklace, this will be the finished product. We have uh, a couple of different color kits in the pattern available on our Etsy site. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Hopefully you'll be able to get a couple of these made to give us Christmas gifts this year because they really don't take that long to make and they have a wow factor. They're very, very pretty. Um, the Monty's just help set it off very good. But, um, like I said in the video, we do have four color schemes for this necklace as well as the pattern available on our Etsy site. And we also have a pattern for a bracelet to match it. And I'm working on a pattern for a pair of earrings that I'd like to show you guys for this one too. But I hope that you enjoyed it and be sure and check us out on Facebook this week. See what's going on. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful week and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.